Neutral is gooder than evil. I don't know, man. <laughs> Bye, Keychain. What would that book be about? I guess books can... The thing about books that you can... A book title can be anything and then the book can be about something totally different and then maybe the last page something refers to that title or something like that and then that's the reason that the book had that title. Book titles are so... ambiguous. Sometimes. And then... Um, uh, language teachers will argue about that for years to come. What was the meaning? What did the artist mean or the author mean when he wrote that title? The curtains were blue. You all know that one. Let's just bring the purse, why not? We are going to the east from here. Oh, we have found the troll there. All right, uh, let me pick up a thing. Nothing to see here. Oh, just corpses everywhere. Surely nothing bad here. Oh, could we pick up this levy bow? I think so. Okay. <laughs> that that far, but no further. The curtains were blue by the wind. Ah, nice. All we are is dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. They call me Keech in the wind. Get it? Because I break wind, I get... Uh, it's not funny when I explain it. I have so much gas these days, by the way, so... I... I'm... We are sitting in that... Hot office... With other people now. At, at least most people in my office are currently on vacation. But the secretary sits right next to me. Her desk is right next to mine. And... She has not yet commented about my non-stop farting. But she must be able to have smelled it at least a few times. And she's just being nice, I'm sure. There's no way. She's, she's fairly old though, so maybe she's lost her sense of smell. What do I know? I'm taking medicine for it, by the way. We found a magical fang emerald. Lovely. We're by the witch's house. And she also always gives us free stuff. Ooh, I forgot to sell the syringe. Back in town. What is this? An identification scroll. We can use that on the potion. It is a potion of pain killing. Nice. Liquid Aspirin. Magic. So much gas you could fuel the car. Yeah, basically. You know, we could make a lot of green energy by just ha uh, ha harnessing the power of Keychain. I once googled whether or not you could die in your sleep if you farted too much in a an enclosed room while sleeping. I wasn't really worried, but kind of curious all the same.
Oh, 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 okay. Um, hmm. And I didn't load my crossbow. We did not hit with the crossbow. We'll take another shot. We hit with the crossbow that time. Uh oh. Oh no. Ooh, they missed. We leveled up. Okay, we're now surrounded, so there's no escape. But they haven't really hurt me yet. Okay. Who's the bigger threat? We got a guy with a club and a guy with a sword. I think the guy with the sword must be slightly more troublesome. Okay, got him. Oh, we could have leveled up our stats as we the level up there. And because of the head of the final guy. Never had a doubt. Never had a doubt. Thanks. You believe that I can fire that much? By the way, the answer is no. I guess I should follow of, of that little comment with no, you cannot fart so much that you die. It, at least it hasn't happened to anyone yet, as far as I understood. <laughs> I'd be the first. Yeah, let's just work on it a bit. Eat some cheese. Uh, some, I should say, some more cheese. And then uh, I, I'm sure I could get it to that point. You, I just gotta train, you know. <laughs> what a world record to be known for. And this is uh, Keychen. He uh, died at an age of 32, uh, choked out by his own farts in his sleep. Truly miraculous. A man of great worth and note in history. God damn it, not another hit here. He hit his ally. Lovely. Oh no. Oh, he, he killed me. Oh, we got second wind. Lucky. Second wind has a chance of proccing in fights for the main character. And I honestly don't know what controls it. But uh, it saved us that time. When you get second wind, you get a little bit of healing and it removes some bad status effects and stuff. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go over here a bit, sit behind this bush. I, I should level up my stats, maybe. Uh, we'll get a perception to have a higher chance of hitting and then a strength for more damage. Beans and cheese. Not all frontiers seem glorious, but all must be explored. <laughs> nice. You got the right attitude, Felix. For science? I'm not being lucky with the crossbow. Got a crit on the first hit there and he's bleeding, so I think we're good though. Step. Well, we can't really stab with a pitchfork. Oh, it's not even a pitchfork, it's a scythe, right. It's more like a little bit, little bit of cleavage, right? That was the whole point. And the training crossbow here is the same as the one I'm carrying. All right, now we go south west. Do 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 do. do. Just go west, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I don't know anything else from that song. One more southwest from here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. I 
And if case anyone is wondering, we are not spending our skill points currently because we want to spec into two-handed swords. But uh, before we finish this little opening phase that I'm doing, we will be looting uh, some graveyards. And when we loot graveyards, we have a chance of finding ancient loot. Uh, and that could be weapons. So sometimes we find like a special spear or a special axe. And then if we do that, I would probably spec into that type of weapon instead. Just to use that special thing that we found. Because that's cool. Uh, so we're hoping, we're hoping to, of course, to find a special sword. That would be the most ideal. If we find nothing, it's going to be two-headed swords. I already spent money on the swords for the for the skill book thing, so would rather not. The thing is, there's no way of retraining skills yet. And yet, I say yet because there will be at some point. It has been confirmed, but I think I'm like ninety percent sure that that was confirmed. But it's not in the game yet. I think next update though, because it's going to be in the big city that they're adding. And it should be somewhere around, was it August even? Or September maybe. Oh, we have arrived at a, a bandit camp and they're already dead. So they were out, they were, they've been fighting something here. It's always fun. Is my scythe broken? Oh, my scythe is broken. That's why we do so little damage. I was wondering. No, no wonder that I, uh, I'm having so much trouble. Oh no! Oh, I thought my game was crashing. Okay, so luckily we have picked up a lot of other weapons along the way here. Let's see if we can find another one that isn't broken. Yeah, yeah like that. Okay, so these are somewhat subpar weapons, but at least they're better than a broken scythe. That's why we almost lost to that spear guy before, I think. I was wondering why we did so little damage. Uh, is that wound wolf wounded? It is. Okay, so we will go kill it. Oh, it's, it's immediately ran. Nice, and it's bleeding. Got him. Oh, and that deer is bucked. Can we get it? Yes. Come on, get it. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Can we take it? It was prepared camp. If, we, if only we could. Sooth. I say, sh sh did I say shith? It's it's shith. Yeah, sh shith. There's also, you know, and it's not um, for you, Felix, necessarily, but half the time when people correct me about pronunciations in English, they're, they're not necessarily wrong. But, like, half the time it's because it's American versus British, and I am not good at disting distinguishing it, but that means it's not necessarily wrong what I'm saying. It's just because it's from the other side of the ocean. We had that with herb and herb. Both are correct. I like herb because herb sounds like an, a name and I'm not trying to talk to a person. I want to pick up an herb. But both are technically correct. Got it. Now, we are looking for a shovel. We want to go to this graveyard here and dig up those graves that I talked about. And we're supposed to find a shovel when we get to one of the question marks. But it might be this one out here. And that would kind of suck. 
English English is wrong, American English is right. Right. How could I have forgotten? My bad. It's a little dark, which is sad, but we've arrived at one of the, the coolest locations in the game here. The Corrupted Chapel. And I'm not going to wait around for it to become day here, but yeah. Oh, there's a special uh, cart over yonder. There. With some loot in it. Uh, so now we'll go southwest here. I should have bought the shovel. But Indonesian English is left. Is that a, a, an entirely different thing? Don't they just use British English? Because they were a colony? Or do they have their own way? I know they might have an accent. That's not the same. American English is not an accent. It's considered a legitimate language for some reason. Because, eh? How, why did you guys get to be so special? I don't know. Oh, another wolf. Come on. I'm not scared. Nice. Uh, hello? Here, doggy doggy. Oh, it's it snuck up on me. Bastard. Good stuff. Do, do, do. Where are we? This is the tile with the road, so we have to go one more south. West, there's likely to be another wolf here since we just found one. I don't see one. <laughs> That's fair, Jawafa. Because nukes. All right, then. Oh, I think... No, this is a bandit camp. God damn it. So no shovel here. Got him. Uh, my weapons are still not broken. That's good. I start with a hit. Oh, he's got a two-handed sword. Uh oh. Oh, we got him. Oh, and he dropped it. Ah, it's a warship. Okay, and it's broken. Of course. Uh, oh, we found a.
I muted my microphone. You're right. Okay. Let me try that again. Sorry. Uh, sorry. We found a, a magic two-handed sword. A cursed. Cursed two-handed sword. Look at that. I can't, uh, so that means I can't unequip it, by the way. So I can't switch into the crossbow right now. And uh, it, it, it is the curse of the soul steel. We can see that from the lore because it's sapping my energy. And I'm not even using energy right now, so it's not really a big deal. Lovely. I want to leave the US, but a factor against it is I'm mildly scared of the US invading, liberating wherever I escape or move to. Um, I don't think you have to be too worried. I mean, I guess if you want to move to the Middle East, sure. But I doubt, I doubt that Germany would be, oh, did you, you didn't write Germany specifically. Okay. But where would you want to move to then, Juwafa is the question. Oh, we found something here. Oh, this is where we... Oh, we can't equip the shovel anymore. God damn it. <laughs> because we have a cursed sword. So now I can never equip a shovel. Typical. Hell yeah, this sword is awesome. Come here. Come get deaded. And now I'm gonna die. Oh, we won. Yeah, we can't pick up the shovel. God damn it. So we won't be doing a whole lot of grave digging, but that's fine. I mean, now we found we found a really awesome weapon, so we'll just keep that. Um, this is worth money, all of this stuff, so like actual money. So we should endeavor to make room. I'm running out of food here. The Surgeon's Toolkit is also worth a good amount of money. syringe here the swords we need for a quest so I don't want to drop those I think the spear is probably not worth as much as this toolkit not something I know for a fact that's just a guess One more point of interest. I will go and check it out right now. I guess not. We've, we've got a full inventory. And we're not going to be digging up graves anyway, so... Let's head to Osbrook. Get the sword identified so we know exactly what it does. And then I think we might as well just do it now. Two-handed swords. Faint swing again, and then the heroic charge, and we can get the next skill in the line. There's four choices, so a bit of reading coming in. Each adjacent enemy will grant us five hit percent, five extra crit chance, and five percent extra counter chance. Okay, so this is for fighting groups of enemies. That's nice. A passive, and it also gives us five percent extra block chance and lowers cooldown duration for this ability tree. Not too shabby. Courage. Instantly refreshes the cooldown of heroic charge if it kills its target. So you can keep charging around. If the target survives, grants plus 10 damage, 10% damage for three turns for each adjacent enemy. 
Skills range is increased by one tile. That's important. And 5% energy restoration is not nothing. Feast of Steel is a stance-based skill. Uh, when you so stances are a thing of their own that we have to and I think this is another stance. This activates the following effect for one turn only. Gaining block chance, block power, and high counter chance. Each blocked strike reduces the skills cooldown by two turns. Each blocked strike reduces the skills cooldown by two turns. Okay. Each counter attack gains extra crit chance for three turns. Thirds. Okay. And by contrast, you get stances, you get, it takes six turns, every third attack gains 100% extra stacker chance. And we can, eat basic two-handed sword attacks prolong the duration of the effect by one turn, so up to 15 turns, but decrease its number of stacks by one. And then you can gain it, give it stacks by using the abilities skills, ability tree skills. So you can keep it going by basic attacking, or you can level it up for a little while by using the skills. Okay. I am not sure what I want. Let's try to kill a wolf with this new sword. Oh, we have no space. Someone else was fighting over here. Oh, there's a bear. We cannot, <laughs> cannot kill a bear. Nope. The other factor is that my entire career path is United States tax law. Well, well, okay, well that, I mean. So Switzerland or one of the, or one of the Netherlands. Are there multiple? Excuse my ignorance. I am not sure what I want to do here. Do we want to try this? I guess the answer is yes. And that was a weird maneuver, but I'm not complaining. Definitely worked out to my advantage. Get wrecked. Um, we can't carry any more loot. There's another guy. Sure, if you want to die. Another guy. Sweden, Finland, Norway. These are called the uh, Norwegian. No, no, <laughs> the, no. Norway is also part of the group, and they are the the North, quote unquote. Netherlands is one country, also known as Holland, the Dutch. I might be lost in the forest here, by the way, because I, I thought we would have been seeing the road by now. But I've been so focused on slaying so people with this new sword that I lost track of time. <laughs> I don't know where we are. I'm sure I'll find something soon, if I keep going in this direction. In fact, we are out of food, so uh, hopefully soon, soon. And as I said that, we found the town. Never had a doubt. I'm like a, I'm a, I'm like a pigeon. I always find my way. F Sweden, Finland, Norway, and Denmark are the north. Quote, unquote. I believe... I believe that... Finland is part of that group, and for a good while, Scotland wanted to be a part of our group. It is like a, an official group that like help each other. 
like the EU, but independent from that. And I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, drop that one. I believe it's only three swords that he wants, and I want him to take the most expensive one. Indeed, I've finished your task. He gives me some money. We pick the sword back up. Sell him the excess. All right, let's go and get this sword identified. So now I think this run is better than the previous one that I threw away. <laughs> uh, we might just not want to fight a boar for a while. But other than that, I think it's going really well. So, this is a Cursed Steady Warbrand. Oh my god, this is such a good one. And it has energy drain on it, so we, we lose energy, but we also gain energy with it. So, yeah. And we only spend energy in combat anyway, so this is, is going to be a net gain of energy, which means I can spec into more energy usage. Nice. And then it increases block power by 4, which is fine. And then 7% extra weapon damage, and that matters. That's really nice. Hell yeah. So that's really good. But we need a Nikov. We need to sell this guy some stuff. That thing. And the Surgeon's Toolkit. 150 gold will matter right now, so I will sell it. Uh, he didn't have more identification scrolls, otherwise I would have bought some. Oh, I think the Bolt of Cloth actually says for more by the merchant, now that I think about it. Uh, in terms of other things, we could buy better shoes, but I really want to repair my armor first. We will store the book. And we can never sell the crossbow, as long as we have a cursed sword. Uh, so it'll, we'll have to carry that in the other hand for a while. The Warbrand is not like an endgame item. We're gonna find something that's better than this at some point. Yeah. But it is gonna carry us for a while. While. Repair the armor now and the sword, obviously. Glove section. Okay, so we can maybe buy a belt. Uh, you know what, I don't have that much money, but I do have a hand amulet to sell. Let's try that again. Wrong button. We also had more stuff to sell over here. Do you have an identification scroll? You do. Nice. And selling that and this. Use this on the amulet. Fortitude and health. That's fine. I forgot to sell the syringe by the merchant. Sorry, the herbalist. We also need more healing salve, more healing salve, and another splint. Still a 700 gold, okay. Not too shabby. Store the potion and a antitoxin. Shoes or belt. The Wolf Brother belt is one of the good belts. Yeah. I like that. Oh, versus the splint boots. No, I guess we'll buy the Wolf Brother belt. I don't think I've ever had that thing before. That's fun. All right. Let's see if I can actually do a dungeon this episode. How about it? Hmm. 
First we will go and pay for a room. Buy some food. I would like to stay here for two weeks. I don't think I could afford it. Or did I? No, I did. Good. Above the P. Then we're heading out. 